Greetings and salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Thrift Haul. And if you guys would like to see the video for this haul, hit the little eye right there. The window will pop out and you can select that video right there as well as playlists from my other Goodwill hunting videos, haul videos, and hand bag, pan bag rehabs. And I'll have them all linked down in the description box below. And if you guys are wondering who this lovely lady is, she is the newest addition to the family. Um, I got her for mom for Mother's Day, which is in two days. So I just wanted her to make like a little sneak peek appearance in one of the videos. I don't know. I just thought she was really pretty and I'm hiding her in my room until um, <clears throat> it's Mother's Day on Sunday. So she was just sitting next to me and she is lovely. She has like a beautiful air plant and this beautiful like planter. Is that what they're called? Anyway, so I got some really good stuff <laughs> at the store and I cannot wait to show you. Let me start off first with this little like cheese stand, cake stand, or whatever you want to call them. It was $3.99 and I don't know where it was from. Um, I thought first that it was like a Target piece, but it's not. And it's really cool. It's like wood, copper, and then the glass dome, which is really, really cute. So I'm going to set this down next to our special guest of honor today. And then I found these. I already tried them out. They're um, JBL cordless earbuds. And they are actually super awesome. They were a little expensive at $10, but they, I really wanted um, some cordless headphones that would allow me to charge my phone and then, like, use it at the same time. Because the new iPhone 7s, like, they don't have the, um, like, the auxiliary cord anymore. So, really awesome. It was like a really good deal for 10 bucks because I think these are usually pretty expensive just judging by the cover and like the like the packaging so really happy that I was able to find these for 10 bucks and that they work really well so there's that then I found a Le Creuset piece you know you guys if you guys have ever watched any of my Goodwill hunting videos or haul videos I'm always talking about looking for Le Creuset and Pampered Chef and I found this gorgeous Pamper or Le Creuset tea kettle and it's in great condition um this was only I love how like this they left the sticker on it which is really weird like I don't know if they even honestly really use it because how can you use this like with a sticker on it so it looks like they didn't really use it at all um it's just like dirty and it was only four dollars and 99 cents so this was an awesome 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 find really excited to find this this is the second blue Lake Reset piece that I found. The other one is like a giant like Dutch oven. And almost everything else has been like red. And then I found um, a set of, or I found like two white pieces. And then I think that's it. So blue, white, and red. Very patriotic, right? So really, really cute. $4.99. I haven't even shown this to mommy. I'm just going to be really excited. This is going to be a super cute tea kettle to put on to the stove so really really happy to find that then I've got okay this is like kind of random but this is just a little brass like I honestly don't know what it's for like a candle holder or something it was 99 cents but I wanted it so I could put an air plant inside of it and I thought that would be really cute so uh, I got this little brass I'm gonna call it air plant holder for 99 cents so really cool it's really heavy too so and it's solid brass I checked it with a um, a magnet so really excited that I was able to find that at the store I've been looking for like really cool like ornament like decorative stands and stuff for air plants because I had like recently acquired an obsession with them as you can see from right there and she is like a 20 like she's over 20 years old um, this air plant, which is what they told me at the store when I purchased her, so I was really excited to have an air plant as almost as old as I am. <laughs> it makes me feel young. <laughs> uh, okay, so then I was really, really excited to find this because I have been wanting to, like, I've, I've been, um, the, well, I don't even know how to start the story. Uh, so if you go to um, the Goodwills in Orange County, you would find out that they do receive items from Target and they're like generally used, like not used, brand new, um, or like items that were just like returned and they couldn't resell them or in the store after they were returned. And then I think the Goodwill like buys them in like 
bulk and then resells them in the store. So, I got this beautiful, beautiful side table. Now, I'm actually going to use this as a um, display stand for her. And I'm going to um, put her inside the library. And then when mom comes down the stairs on Mother's Day, I'm going to be like, surprise, happy Mother's Day. And surprise her with this, which I hope she likes. I hope she'll like it, right? It's like really cute. And it's going to look really awesome. Uh, yeah. So I'm really excited. This was only $15. 15 doll hairs. And these are normally pretty pricey. They're $70. Uh, and I've never seen one for $15. And this one is in great condition. It's just a little dirty. And I just need to polish it up and put it in the library. It's going to be perfect. And I can't wait. And I just love... In the library, I'm like I'm using like a lot of like different colored accents than the I normally have in the rest of the house. And I have like a couple... I already have like one brass and um, mirrored side table and then I have like a gold globe and then I have like a camel that's made of wood with brass like deck like ornamentation on it and then this like the gold is just gonna pop in the space and it's gonna look really fun with this um, bust with a plant on it so I'm really 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 excited I can't, don't know what to call her like a bust like a pot like a plant holder thing I don't know she's beautiful we're gonna call her. I think I, I feel like um, she looks kind of like Jane Eyre. If you guys have ever like um, the book that I read, like Jane Eyre in in high school, like the picture on the cover looks like her. I don't know why she reminds me of her, so I'm calling her Jane. And then the the air plant, her name is Aphrodite, and she, her name is Afro for short because like she kind of looks like an Afro on her head, but like Aphrodite because like I'm absolutely in love with her. She's the most gorgeous air plant I've ever seen. So I was really excited to add her to the family. My little air plants are like my little babies and like these are like their outfits. Like I call them like vessels and the vessels are like their clothes and I like switch them out and I change their outfits every day. I'm like a crazy like God help me if I like <laughs> when I have, like, I'm already bad enough with like the air plants and like the little like the kids my sister, like my nephews. Like when I have like my own children I'm going to be like spoiling them rotten and like oh my gosh it's going to be insane. So, the next um, item that I have that I found here is another decorative piece for the house. And I thought this was really cool. And it is this. It's like a candle holder. It's really cool. These look like little sea urchins and a little thing in the middle for candles. I don't think I'm going to put candles in them because I don't really, I'm not really a huge fan of those tapered candles unless they like start making, um, the battery powered one because I don't really like like those like get knocked over so easily and I would never be able to use them the kids would just grab them and use them as swords so I'm actually going to use this to display I think obviously air plants I think they would look so cute I wish I had some in my room and I had to pop on these but um I'll show you guys later on in the vlog so don't forget to subscribe so you guys will see that and oh also add me on Instagram and Facebook I like post a lot of that stuff like home decor stuff on there with um, all of the pieces that I find at the Goodwill and thrift stores and all that and how I repurpose them and use them around the house. So, really excited. This is so cool. I just saw it and I was like, oh, like this would be perfect on a table. I could hang this on the wall. I could hang it horizontally, vertically, like anything. Like this would be so cool. And I almost wanted to use it kind of like, like a, um, like a hat rack or something like to put on the wall, but I don't know. I think these little spikes would get in the way but I just thought this was just such a cool unique looking piece that I had to get it and I couldn't be happier so I can't wait to use that somewhere around the house and with that being said we have finished the home decor portion of the video so now we're gonna get to my favorite one of my favorite parts of the thrift store is the handbag section now handbags are what kind of got me into thrifting um, I've always worked, oh, I worked in retail for many, many years, and one of the stores that I worked at, I worked in the handbags department, and so I have, like, a fondness for handbags already, and thrifting them is, like, even more beyond fun. So, let me start off with, let me start off with the smallest items first that I thrifted, 
and then we'll get bigger and bigger into the handbag. So the smallest item here is this little hobo wallet, really cute. It's in, excuse me, in patent leather. And it's just like a simple pattern inside with the little squares and then card slots, money slots, and then a zipper pocket in the back. And it's actually in really great condition. The fabric is just a tad bit, like, dirty. Um, I'm going to try and clean it, but it's not, like, anything too major. And the leather itself on the outside is in perfect condition and it looks brand new, like, from the outside. So, really, really great little compact wallet. I love, like, a nice compact wallet that doesn't get too bulky. And this is awesome. And Hobo makes amazing wallets. This has, like, a million compartments, too, for your cards. And the fabric makes it really breathable and easy to put your money, your cards and your money in. So, really fun. This will be up in the shop very soon. Then the next item is another hobo piece, which actually matches this one, but it's not in the patent. This is just in the regular leather. And this is just a, like, a clutch. This is awesome, like a clutch wallet, kind of. Um, you can throw this in your purse and then you can just pull it out and it has a wristlet, which is awesome for on the go. And you can use it like from day to night, easily transitionable throughout that. And it has lots of card slots, pockets, and then a zippered pocket. And then the main compartment is super roomy. And you can fit a ton in here. And it's super easy to carry. And such a great color. Love like a maroon. So, super fun. And this, yeah, is Hobo. And it's like in perfect condition also. The inside and the outside are very clean and very 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 beautiful so oh there is a little tiny stain right there though looks like punch <laughs> oh no actually it looks like maybe like a lipstick i think it might be able to get it out so i'm gonna see if i can get it out if you get like um if you spill like makeup or um like lipstick or anything inside like your bag i find that using a makeup remover wipes is like a really easy way to clean it up and usually does the trick so Try it out, you guys might like it. And I really like the Burt's Bees ones, I don't know why, but those are the ones I use for my face, like the cleansing wipes, and you can use them for makeup too. So, yeah, that's what I use. I always have them around, or if I don't, I just use some of Mom's makeup wipes. Then, this was super, super cute. I was so excited when I found this, and this is like a cute little handbag. Now, it has a long chain, like that, but, like with a little turn, like it looks like a Chanel reissue, but it's not like, it's just like a little bag that looks like it. And I don't know, like I can't, it actually smells like leather, so I'm pretty, like I think at least the inside is leather, I'm not sure if it's patent leather on the outside, but it does smell like leather inside. And it's just like red inside, has a cute little clasp that looks like the reissue from Chanel. It doesn't say Chanel or anything on it, it's just like a cute like little um, quilted bag. And then it has a really great little hook right here. So you can hook it onto your pants, like onto your belt hook. And it'll be kind of like, what's it called? Kind of like a fanny pack. And then you can actually take the chain and it does, the chain doesn't actually come off, but you can put it inside. So it just sits on top like that. And you can use this kind of just like a little, like you can, put this on a bag, you can put it on your belt hook, and then you can throw like a little wallet in here, you can probably fit your phone in here, and yeah, and then go. And this is this little bag is in great condition, it's in a beautiful like royal, deep royal purple, and it's in great condition inside and out, no scratches or tears or anything, no scuffs, beautiful still. So this was a really, really fun find, and this was only $2.99. So really excited. I think, I don't know if I'm going to sell this. I'm not too sure. Still thinking about it. But if anyone, again, is interested, let me know. And I will let you know whether or not it's sold or not or if I'm going to post it. Um, but definitely stay tuned for that. Then I found this really, really great, um, what was it called? Junior Drake bag. Yes. Now I thought it was super cool because it kind of looks like, uh, like on the back, it looks kind of Balenciaga-ish, and then in the front, it has, like, this really cool, like, woven, textured leather, which I think is beautiful. It's missing the crossbody strap, but you can really add any crossbody strap to it and then just go. And this bag is still cute, too, when you're wearing it crossbody, because the straps just go all the way down like that really easily. And it has that great pocket in the back. 
for your cell phone or your keys and the interior has like it's <laughs> I don't know who it is but like you can see there's like a printed like fabric with a person in there and yeah $7.99 Junior Drake Junior Drake makes really cute bags and the really easy uses really great leather so I was really excited to find this and in this like really cute silhouette and it's so versatile like this is kind of like more modern and this side is kind of like a little bit more classic it kind of reminds me of like the large version of the Bottega Veneta um like quilted or not quilted but um woven leather so really fun it's like Bottega Veneta Balenciaga awesome love it okay so that was so one of the first bags that I found and then I found this really cool bag and it's Viva Athletica and it's a uh, it's used as a tote and then you can also use it as a backpack and then you can also use it across as a crossbody these are removable you can stick them inside these little grommets right there and then use it like a crossbody strap and it's a little dirty um I'm gonna try and clean it off but it just looks like dirt I could probably just use a baby wipe to get most of it off if not all of it and the inside is pretty clean and it's really great like it's great you can stick a yoga mat in there this is a great workout workout bag and this is actually um, a sister company I believe to Lulu okay so I don't necessarily know when I stopped when the camera stopped filming it always does that to me once it reaches a certain point I think like 16 minutes and something seconds but that pink bag was really cute um, and the next bag is this one so this one is a gap bag which is really awesome and this is actually all leather this is the calf hair on the outside and the inside is the suede so it's just like the natural piece of leather and they printed like I don't know if this is like an ocelot I think an ocelot print on there which I thought is really cool and I've always wanted um, a printed like animal printed tote bag for some reason I fell in love with the ones that are from Dolce and Gabbana with a leopard print which is beautiful I love 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 their prints and I've been like searching far and wide for one and I did see one a while ago and I didn't get it and it was like it wasn't like super cheap it was actually still pretty expensive which is why I passed on it but this one was super awesome I believe it was oh there it is this one was $14.99, so it's 15 bucks. But for like an all leather tote bag, and this one being in such awesome condition, um, there are a couple little stains on the inside, but like honestly, it's like nothing major, and the outside is in great condition. And the pony hair isn't really balding in any spots, and or calf hair. And yeah, so leather straps, and then it's like all leather so it's perfect and it's Gap I've never really seen this at the Gap so that's awesome it's definitely like a vintage piece so I really like it and I don't know if I'm gonna be selling it if anyone is interested in it let me know but I think this is like something I'm just gonna have to like try and enjoy at least for a little while because I've always wanted something like this it's not necessarily in the color that I want but it's in like a cool animal print and this is still super versatile and great for summer I really love it now, the last item I have to show you, I'm really, really excited for because I have been wanting this bag in this size for so long and I've never thrifted one. I've thrifted other pieces in the smaller sizes, in the medium and the small, but never in the large. So here it is. This is a long chomp Le Pliage tote in a really cool army green. And it's actually in fairly good condition. Um, the corners are a little, like have tiny holes in them, but if you guys have seen my repair video for that, you can you know that it's actually really easy to repair and I'll probably repair this but the only thing is this one um, this does happen to a lot of their bags is that the fabric starts to bubble and uh, there is a little tear right here too but that's not really anything but I wish like I I wish I knew how to <laughs> fix the bubbling um, so I think I'm gonna practice with this one and see what I can do I've searched far and wide, no one has really figured out a way to fix the bubbling. And I think you can bring it in to Longchamp to have them um, repair it, but I'm not too sure. I know you can bring it in to repair the corners, and you can only do that once though, so you kind of have to like 
be wary. Um, they probably, like I read that they usually um, tell you to wait until the holes get larger before you can bring it in because um, they only do it once. So when they fix it once, that's it. But again, I know how to do the easy repair for it. And you can do it as long as you know how to sew. Even if you don't have a sewing machine, you can do it by hand. So that is it. Thank you guys again so much for watching and hanging out with Jane Eyre and Aphrodite and I. We had a blast showing you guys all this stuff. And let me know down below what your favorite item was that we found. I think my favorite was probably everything. I don't know. I can't decide this time. Everything was just so fun and so awesome. And um, don't forget to subscribe so you guys will be updated every time I post a new video. And I do post videos every single day. And lately, I've also been posting a vlog video each day because I'm trying to catch up for my vlogs, for my home decor vlogs and all that. Um, I'm still back like in March and it's already May and I think I just started April so I'm almost caught up. Um, so don't forget to check, all th check out those videos if you guys are interested in like home decor and going home decor shopping. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you guys had a blast. See you guys all tomorrow. Bye! It's not like there's water in it still. But other than that, this is like pretty cool. Let's open it up and see the inside. It's like, is that mold? I don't know. Should I get it? How much is it? I didn't even look. $4.99 is not bad. It's really cute. I wonder if I can clean that inside. I don't know.